Yeah. All right, anyway, Rob, let's get this thing rolling. Russell Westbrook, of course, one of the big stories in the NBA. Um, you know, is he going to be traded? Is he going to stay with the Lakers? Is he going to start? Is he going to come off the bench? Well, Darvin Ham, the new first-year coach, was asked about Russ's role uh, today. Was it today or yesterday? But anyway, here, here he is. On that note with Russ, do you see him as the definitive starter this season or have you entertained the possibility of bringing him off the bench? We're, we're a ways away. I mean, we got several options. You know, obviously we signed Dennis. We signed uh, Pat Bev. We got a healthy Kendrick Nunn along with Russell himself, Austin Reeves. So we have a, 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 a variety of options to, uh, to fulfill in our backcourt. But again, as I mentioned, defensively, we got to have a defensive mindset. Those are the guys that, that's going to get the minutes, guys who are going out there to get stops. And he said he's, you know, he's told me personally he's going to commit to that side of the ball, and uh, that's what camp is for. We'll see. We, but we have, we have more than enough options that we're comfortable with. A former MVP who had triple doubles four straight years in the NBA? What? 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 He, what? You know, you're not buying it. Chris, Defense. Defense or the that? bench? The, the whole, the, the whole, the whole thing. Come on, that's those are scrambled eggs, and they're runny. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, in November he'll be thirty-four years old. This is my thing, and he's played. This is his fifteenth year. Rob, I, I don't think we've ever seen a player who wasn't much of a defender throughout his career ever become a good or great Thank defender you. in the year. Thank you, Chris. Year. Thank you. It doesn't happen. It doesn't no. happen. So the conversation about this makes no sense to me. It just doesn't. Because you're right. You know what you, what you have in him. Darvin Ham was just talking, Chris, a while ago about how he was going to be the, the, the he was going to turn this around for him. Right? You remember that? Yep. Talk, that speech. Now we don't know because we have so many options. Really? Yeah, I mean, look, from what I've read, from even Russ, his own comments, he's saying all the right things. He's saying that he's been he just in wants, he wants conversations to get you know with that. Darvin. Well, they, I think you're you're smart. You know, he's saying he's had several conversations with Darvin. We know he's been at the facility. He was there when Darvin was announced as the coach, if I if I remember correctly. He was there when Pat Bev had his press conference. Apparently, they are good friends, and they've been, you know, talking and all that. Um, and he's even said, Rob, he would do whatever is necessary, including, I mean, he hasn't, I don't know if he's used those terms, but basically he's been asked, you know, would you even come off the bench? He's like, whatever. There's a story he did with ESPN. Woj wrote it where Woj asked him something to the effect of what's it feel like not to be wanted by the team or do you think they want – I think it was do you think the Lakers want you. And he said it don't matter. My job's to go – I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but it was basically my job's to go out there and play. Whether they want me or not is irrelevant. I got to go and do my job. Now, Rob, I love that attitude. That is a tremendous attitude, hey, Rob. It should, every player should have that attitude, right? But that ain't, but 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 you can't. I I agree with you, but you know it cuts deep. Like to have this career that he's had. You just said it. He's a top he, Chris. He's a top seventy five. He did something nobody else could do in the league for fifty years. He's won an MVP. Earned it. Okay, right, earned right, it. No right. gift. Earned it. And now you're going to be on your fifth team in five years. Is, what, is that what it is? Or fourth four team in four years? What is it? Well, OKC, where else did he go? Houston, Houston, Washington, Washington the Lakers. Lakers. And now if he goes to another place, Chris, five teams in five years. A top 75 player. It can't feel but good. That, I think can't that, feel Rob, good. I think that could be an argument, depending on how he responds to it. But that could be an argument for him to do what the Lakers want him to do. Like, because you've been humbled. I mean, Carmelo was was big and bad a you few had to years go out ago, of the right? Yo, P, 
They want me to come off the bench. You believe yep, this? Yep, yep, These yep, dudes yep. are crazy. Right. Right? A couple months later, he, he, he at home watching the NBA like the rest of us. And now he's gladly coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not saying Russ is there, Rob. I, would, I don't think he is. I think Russ is – Rob, Russ is, is one of the most misunderstood players of our generation. I really believe that in that I think he's a really good guy. I mean, Rob G told us a story yesterday, Rob, about, you know, Pat Bev because of some, you know, he was just over, over hustling the whistle that blown and Pat Bev is just doing Pat Bev things. Remember that? And he injured Russ's knee when he was in Oklahoma city. And after that, before they make up, Russ buys him his sister tickets to the game and then tells him about, and they're now they're cool. Like Rob Russ was sixth. I don't think people think obvious. I don't think he's a very smart basketball player. I got, but you. I think a lot of people take that to mean he's probably not that smart period. He was six in his class, high school graduating class academically. Like I, I don't think, like, I, I think he's very misunderstood. And, Rob, somewhat because of him, right? He doesn't really let people in. He hasn't really been, you know, great with the media and just to show them what he's like. But, and so but, and some of it's on him. But some of it, Chris, and his responses. You remember last year? Right. This, yep. uh, this ain't that important to me, going home to be a, a father and taking care of my kids. You know, when people hear that, right? and no one's saying, that's what everybody has to do, Chris. Right. That's not what we're asking you. We're asking you about your play on the court tonight. That's all. Right. We're not wrecking you as a father, a husband, and and your, you know, how you live your life. The right. topic is basketball. That's all we're asking you. But see, I think that's a defense mechanism. I think that's when when you're I'm just struggling saying it puts at your off. career, right? When your things aren't going well. I mean, to be honest, that's how you console yourself, man. Now they think I can't hoop. Right? I'm getting trashed. I'm a top, like you said, Hall of Famer, top 75. People trashing me like I don't need, I can't even play. Every day they on TV saying I'm the reason we suck. And you take, you console yourself in, man, you know what? I got a great life. I'm making, I got money, more money than I could dream of. I got a great wife, kids. And, and I get that. I don't think that's wrong. You, you're right. I'm not going to let my job ruin my life, even if I'm failing at it. And so I understand that. But you're right. People don't want to hear it. People, but I'm I get just saying, where he's coming from. But I, it, but I get it. Because not all of us, we do, because you and I are in the public eye as well. But most people don't have to add, answer questions. About their job. About or their, their job, job performance. How bad or good they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I'm not mad at him. But you're right, people, they don't necessarily want to hear that. But, Rob, I think the question is this. So my point I was trying to make about his personality is that I think he he may very well mean, Rob, what he's saying, right? That he's willing to do whatever they want, even if it's coming off the bench. I just don't know if he'll be capable. I just don't know, to your point, after you've been an icon, uh, one of the best players of this generation and one of the best players ever can you, and you still physically can kind of do what you used to do for the most right. part. Are you going to be able? Yeah, man, he's how many, what is he? 50 times the player Patrick Beverly is, uh, uh, 20, 30 times the player Dennis Schroeder is. Right. And he's going to accept coming off the bench behind right. him. Well, and you remember we, I saw it firsthand in Detroit. It was the end yep. of AI's yep. career. Him and Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton was like, I won a championship in Detroit. Yeah, you know, yep. I know AI's a great player, but why am I coming off the bench? He's coming here to right. our team where we've won. He had right. won Jack. And it right. became an issue, Chris. It really became an issue. And if AI could have accepted it and come off the bench and Lit it up, you know what I mean. During that time, right. it could have he could have played four or five more years. He just wouldn't. oh yeah, he could have been a really good bench yep. player. But uh, you know, yeah, I, that's a great example because I I don't think 
I think, Rob, if Russ even tries, I just think it'll be obvious. His body language will be bad. You know what I mean? It'll kind of be, you know, you'll be sitting there sulking on the bench. When the starter's not playing well, you'll be like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of, at least your gestures will be saying, do you believe this? Like, really? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you see it with people all the time. And yes. I, I, I'm not even honest. I'm not even going to say if I was in his position, I might not do that same thing. I might not be like, like, really? Really? Chris, this dude's you, playing ahead of me? Didn't you say that when they re-signed Dan Patrick? Uh, really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. All right. All right. 877 99 on Fox. 877 996 You should have seen the look on Chris's face when I said that. Your turn to weigh in. Russell Westbrook. Oh, no, we're not doing the calls because you got no trash calls. talking Tuesday. Yes, no calls. Oh, we got a fun topic coming up next. OBJ is like, bring in the grass. Now, what is, uh, take out the turf and bring the grass. <laughs> you like good. that, Rob? You like that? That was good. Take out the turf and bring the grass. <laughs> All right.